So for episode two, we're going to be in my hometown of northern Kentucky. We're going to look at some uh, trails and then we're going to head over to some creeks and uh, see what we can find. Hope you enjoy. Garden. And here, we have a garter, a cranky garter. You can see how it flattens out its, out its body to look bigger. You can see by his eyes, the bluish color, that he is in shed. I can leave him alone. I guess we bothered him enough. Put him back where he was. Okay. And Birdie has been nervous the whole time. Haven't you, girl? <laughs> Alright, so we're walking. Spotted this guy. Up in the tree. Coming out. So these rat snakes live in holes like this. They're great climbers and pretty good, pretty good sized snakes. All right, uh, we're gonna see if we can take the drone up and get a good shot of this guy. It's hard uh, getting close with, with him all the way up in that tree. Uh, so we'll see. All right, so what we got here is a decent sized garter. So this guy, he's pretty gray looking. His eyes are beautiful though. His eyes are very pretty. He's got that bright red tongue. He's fixated on that GoPro right now, trying to figure out if that's gonna eat him or not. Looking to GoPro. What is that, buddy? Now that we got all our pretty footage, I'm gonna let this guy go. You wanna come towards me? All right, so we just walked up on a pretty box turtle, still hiding. Looks like this one's a male. It's coming out. So, how you tell that this is a male, if you look underneath our shell here, this will be concave. Females will either be flat or convex. And their eyes. You can see the eye on this guy, it's red. Females are more brown. All right, go ahead and put this fella back after we got some photographs of him. Make him nice and comfy. Well, I came over here to flip this guy, so I'll flip that now. Let's see if we find anything. Nothing. But we're over fiddling with the other turtle. Birdie was over here sniffing for something. So we came over to see what it was. And it's another turtle. This is a male turtle again. We'll put Birdie's find back where we found it. Fish. We're looking for the guys that eat this, like a queen snake or something. Go ahead and let this guy go. No. 
This is a this is a northern water. Trying to find a queen snake out here. That was our target, but we'll take this guy. So, people use uh, the triangular shaped head to tell if snakes are venomous, but it's not a great way to show it. If you can see how, how much he's flattening his head, they flatten it to appear larger, but uh, that head looks pretty triangular. When they're just sitting about, it, it doesn't look that triangular. So, uh, triangle heads aren't always the best way to go off of if a snake is venomous or not. These guys get a lot bigger. They're usually about this cranky. We got a double clip, double flip clip. Another little northern. And another little northern. We got two northerns. Two little babies. Here's the, here's the other northern that was under that rock. Uh, super cute. Oh, gonna let him go too. Out this back. Nothing. Haven't even flipped this rock yet. But coming up on it, I can see a snake sticking out of it. You see it? Mm -hmm. So this is another northern water. If you could see how he's flattened his head again, how, how triangular that can appear. Stop moving. Come here. Just flipped this water snake. This is our fifth northern water snake. So these, if you want to just find snakes, a great place to find snakes is at a creek. You'll find tons of these guys just sitting under rocks. You want to move for us? But they're pretty snakes. Got a nice like light brown, dark brown band going. But this guy's still not that big. I think they get around four feet long. But this isn't a newborn like the other ones. And he's pretty calm, so I can just let him sit here. A little peck on. Snakes aren't anything to be afraid of. Just gotta be careful with this rock and make sure we don't squish him. Put his home back. And he's right there, but I think we're just gonna uh, leave him go. All right, little buddy. All right. All right, so what we have here is a cricket frog. Who will probably be too fast for me to do anything. Oh, and there he goes. So this is what we've been trying to find. This is a baby queen snake. This is really small. It's the smallest queen snake I've ever seen. But these guys are the are the snakes that eat those crayfish that I was showing you earlier. Their bellies have that cool copper stripe down it. If you can see it. Here they live in the same like territory that a northern would live. Sometimes you flip a rock and it's got queen and northerns underneath. This guy is adorable.
All right, we're gonna go ahead and let this guy go. Put him back where he was. Keep bird girl away. Go on free. Thank you for your time. Not a herp, but this guy is pretty neat. Just trying to find a route to get away from me. Wanna come back under your rock? Yeah, go that way. Nope, almost there. There you go. Our camera lady just fell on these slippery rocks. Completely went in, but held the camera above water. Pretty impressive. <laughs> Pretty impressive. When Katie fell in the water, it wasn't just like, oh, I slipped in. It was the loudest splash. It sounded like <laughs> someone, someone jumped off the 30 foot diving board and into the water. It was unbelievable. <laughs> nice. So here we have a northern water snake, an ugly northern water snake. That's all right. He's still cool looking. So since we found quite a few of these guys today, I'm just going to go ahead and put them back where we found them. I don't want to scare them too much. And off we go. Another baby queen. Come here, little boy. Another little queen. Cute little snake. All right. Now that we've showed him. Oh, nope. You gotta go to back to your home. See you, little buddy. So that's it for today. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see the pictures from the herps we found today, you can follow us on Instagram at Flippin' Herper. Thanks.